All right, hey, I, I just wanted to go over how I did the Ender 3 S1 Plus light bar mod. Um, so the the problem with the light bar, first off, it's not big enough. We'll go to, we'll get to that at the very end. Um, but it also has straight up the wrong plug. Uh, there is no plug. The bar comes with these little straight connectors, a positive and a negative. There's nothing to connect these two on the actual S1 Plus board. Apparently on the old Ender 3s, there's like a perfect little plug for these, but it doesn't exist on the new board. Um, so rather than use the expansion slot, uh, which would have been annoying, I would have had to use different connectors, uh, I just went straight to the power supply. I had some spade connectors laying around with some extra wire, right? So uh, I just cut, soldered, shrink wrapped these, put them on, um, no issues there. Um, and then they're going to go on here, straight onto the power supply. Um, as you can see, if it clears up, there you go. Power supply's got 24 volts, 14.6 amps. That's perfect for the light bar. Um, and you got two open positives, two open negatives, so we're not in the way of anything. Um, this one shows where I put them, right? So my negative is here on the white. My positive is here with the green. Um, and then you can see where I routed them to. I routed them back through this little slot where the stepper motor goes through. Uh, and you can see that right here. So stepper motor wires there. They're my positive negative here. Uh, after the video, I just slap some tape on, hold them down. Um, so then to actually connect them, I use these little push connectors that were super, super easy. Some of the wire I had to strip because it was a little big. Um, but they ran around back, right? I got positive negative here. These things just push your wire in, then you squeeze them with some pliers um, to get a good connection. There's dielectric grease in there too, keep everything hunky-dory. I will probably tape these up uh, just to make them a little bit more clean and do a little bit of cable management. But um, this was just a test, right? Make sure it works. So light bar works, turns on, no issue. Um, and then these are the little extenders that you need. Uh, I'll throw the link to the STL for these. I found it on Thingiverse. Just printed them out. Uh, the only thing to note here, uh, first off, you gotta pop the end caps off here, but then um, if you tighten these too much, they'll warp a little bit. Um, so you can you can kind of see at the front uh, of this bar, uh, maybe you can't, um, let's see. Here you go, so at the front, there's like a little bit of a gap here. The more that you tighten the, the little brackets, the more they kind of get out of square. You can see that it's not perfectly square here. Um, so that causes a little bit of warp. And then you got to put your own nut and bolt through here. This is just some shit I had laying around. Um, so yeah, I'll put, the, I'll put the link to the STL for these. And I just found it on Thingiverse and it worked just fine. Uh, I had to trim the nubs a tiny bit. So um, the this little piece here, I had to just like take a piece of clipper and just take some clippers and just cut them a little bit to make them fit. Um, if your printer is, you know, better tolerances, maybe it's perfect. I don't know. Um, they were just a little big for me, but I'm still dialing everything in on this. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's useful. Um, I, I figured somebody else would do the same thing. Uh, I know people are using the expansion slot, which is right here. That was just more annoying for me. I didn't want to figure out having to test it like positive, negative, super easy on the power supply. Plus we had extra slots anyway. And I just have wire and spades already around rather than try to get a connector that fits this thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks.